together we can show the world what we can do. You are next to me and I'm next to you. Push me on through until the battle's won. No one's gonna give something to us. Into each other we put our trust. Standing united after the fight is done. Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, the Ninja Viewer here. I know I'm a bit late on this, but here it is, finally at last. One Piece Greatness episode 800 in, what was it, 45? I think so, I don't know. Yeah, 845. Yeah, 845. Yeah, 845. Yo, okay. When it comes to this episode of One Piece, so what happens is, is that apparently Big Mom, ooh, Big U, Big Mom, impressive fleets, man, impressive fleets, like last time, we saw pretty much the end result of the Albraf attack, and I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo, by the way, animation for this week's episode was absolutely great, I'm laughing because there's something there, by the way, um, while I was supposed to join like a live stream with, um, I'm supposed to like actually watch a live stream going on. Pretty much. I was going to watch a live stream that's going to happen, but it hasn't happened as of yet. So, because of that, while that live stream is going on, um, or trying to get back up anyway, I decided to do this video really quick just to get it out of the way. So, here we go. We got this week's episode. Oh, my God. Again, the, the destruction, the, the power of Big Mamu is, like, fascinating, man. Oh, my God. So, apparently, you know, Big Mom fast as fuck boy right on their trail pretty much what happens is that nami thinks of a plan to actually knock off to pretty much throw off zeus and what happens is that she creates um a black balls apparently zeus likes it because it's tasty and it's made of thunder and sweetness of clouds and oh my god it gives him most of the energy that he needs and he's addicted to him you know kind of like snacks like you know how like dogs are addicted to treats cat with catnip etc and then what happens is that big mom pretty much falls off that cloud and then we got prometheus and prometheus is like holy shit what's going on and apparently they don't they lost sight of big mom after she fell off the cloud but no it's not over see big mom she's not a yonko for nothing man even if even if big mom falls off that cloud pulling a keemstar on your ass and she's literally going after you so basically Still fast as fuck, boy. Like, literally right there. And what happens is, is that they're still trying to draw the, uh, the trail. So, apparently, um, Nami pretty much is now using Zeus as, a, as her own personal slave. I mean, God, like, Jesus, Nami. Like, what the hell? It's messed up, man. That's messed up. That's a like cloud slavery. But <laughs> let, uh, let me stop before I think way ahead here. Anyways, so it looks like we got King Baum, who is also leading the way. So, King Baum... Still holding on to Nami, Carrot, and the rest. And what happened is that Big Mom was able to catch up with Prometheus. And it's a big-ass fucking sun. Unleash the power of the sun. Celestia, stand down. Escanar, stay down. We, we, got, we got a much bigger comet sun coming after you right now. And what happens is, is that the sun is so damn powerful that of course tree barks can't really survive that and nami says like look just keep going survive for your girl you have to do it man for your fiance you have to do it you just gotta do it so what happens is is that you know he's still trying and struggling his best but it's just too massive large of a sun and it's ridiculous like yo king Baum's dead yo king Baum, your sacrifice should not be in vain man so rip tree so a little Moment of silence there for Mr. King Baum Tree Bark. Oh, yeah, moment. Of. Anyways, so pretty much Nami, you know, felt really bad, obviously, because he, he was burning to that. Burn, baby, burn. He was burning. And honestly, he was just absolutely just, he couldn't do anything about it. So what happened is that Nami and company had to leave him to pretty much die and like burn. And that's pretty much what happened right there. So that's what's going on with Big Mom and company right there. And that's pretty much what their side is. So overall, when it comes to that, 
I really did like how we did it, even though I felt like all we focused on was like one actual full chapter on this episode, which I will admit, it did feel like it was only like one chapter within this episode, and they did kind of extend things like just a bit. But other than that, though, it was still nicely done. I didn't mind it too much. And, of course, the animation. Again, animation was on point this week. Yo, animation, man. Big Mom. Yo. Yo, man. Yo. Big Mom is sweaty, man. Yo. You have no idea. Anime viewers have no idea exactly what's going to happen. You really don't. You, you don't know the true power of Big Mom once we actually reach... The rest of this arc, I mean, oh man, it just it just gets crazier, drive me crazy, like it's 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 insane, like holy Jesus, it's just absolutely just nutty. So yeah, <laughs> oh my God. Anyways, so when it comes to actually that portion. That was actually some pretty good shit. Then we go to the second half of the episode. The Gurma 66 just whooping some ass. Like, literally, just some straight up whooping Big Mom soldiers' asses, man. Like, literally. Like, you had that one dude, I don't know his name, with the fucking, um, with that, like, that, that, that robe looking thing. He looks like it's like a sleeveless version of, like, Scratchman on Pooh's outfit. It sort of looks like that. He's throwing all this fire. Let me see, like, um,. Oh my god, bro. And then we see like, um, then we see like, um, Yuji, man. Oh my god, yo, it's great. Yo, the Gurma 66, man. The Gurma 66 part was, was just absolutely amazing. Yo, animation was dope for that, man. The dramatics of the fight, the movements. Oh my god, yo, I could just watch an episode, truth be told, I can watch an episode where the Gurma 66 are just fucking shit up. It'll be the best episode. I don't care. Best episode confirmed. Like, just having massive... Because Toei Animation is really given the work when it comes to the, uh, the Vince Smokes. They really, really are. And honestly, this was just a real treat. And then, right after that, we got my boy, my boy, my dude, Mr. Katakuri Charlotte, Charlotte Katakuri, a.k.a. Charles Barkley, Mr. Slam Jam on the ship. Yeah, he's right on the ship, man. He's chilling with some alligators. He's like, look, I got like a whole bunch of boys with me on the ship. So, so Luffy, he may think that it's going to be some easy shit. Like, no one's going to be on the ship already infiltrated. But nope, he's damn wrong on that. He is damn wrong. He, I got like a whole bunch of army soldiers all ready to go. And he's already got it planned out. So, that's the thing right there that we got. Okay, so when it comes to that, we got category. Oh, my God. This mm, We're getting close. We're getting close. Ooh. We're getting closer to the most awesomeness of the trueness of the Slam Jam. But again, that's way later into the future. Into the future. We're getting there soon, so be on the lookout for that. And then finally, we have the very end of the episode. We're putting... Uh, well, yeah, we're putting pretty much finds Capone. Capone's pretty much escaping all like, the, the tart um, soldier things or whatever. Just like shooting at Capone. Shooting at Capone, and obviously they're missing. Capone's like way, way too quick. He's like, yeah, you know what? Come and get me. You know, you guys suck. So, it's so whatever. You guys are scrubbed here. But anyways, we find Pudding. Pudding actually finds Capone. And then she wants to speak to Chefon to actually make uh, this, uh, to actually convince to make uh, the same kind of texture, delicious wedding cake, just like the same one that they had for the wedding, but even better. Because Shafan's there to help him out. And it's because of Mama's going on the ang anger tantrum. Because she wants to save Sanji. Obviously, she has some really deep feelings for him. And that's where the episode ends up. Overall, though, when it comes to this episode of One Piece, I don't think I have any complaints of this episode, to be honest with you. I mean, besides just being only, be, be honest with you, just one chapter. But other than that, animation was on point. The, 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 the manics of the characters, the way they moved was fine. It was completely beastly. Like I said, the the pace it could be like slow as molasses, but as long as the animation's on point and the fights are on point, I'm on board for that. Like that's actually fine with me. So overall this episode of One Piece, I have no complaints. I really don't. I mean, we got progression. King Baum's gone. Again, rip tree. He's dead. So yeah, again, and and believe me, he's not gonna be the only victim. I won't spoil too much, but Oh, 
we are getting close. Oh, we're getting closer to that. I forgot about that shit. Oh my god. I just realized from the chapters this episode's based on. Speaking of, oh no. I also know another victim that's probably going to be coming soon. <sighs> Won't spoil, but oh my god. we I forgot we're getting closer to that, man. Yo, it's insane. Alright, so overall, a 5 out of 5 uh, episode right here. Luminary thoughts in the comment section below of this episode of One Piece episode 845. I'll see you guys for this Saturday coming up for 846. And for the manga folks, I'll see you guys probably either Thursday-ish or Friday, depending if the chapter drops early, or if not, then Friday for sure, for sure. And until then, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, click the bell to join the squad, follow my social media plugins, gamer tags as well, and of course the Plus Ultra, uh, Plus Ultra Discord. So peace, soul, love, chicken grease, and the sky got in the <laughs> Is the limit. And my manga fans, keep supporting what you really watch you watch. And that's it. See you guys next time.